Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom, and this is Kendra, <laughs> my 15-year-old girl. Um, and is anybody else in here with me? No, Jasper was in here earlier. Okay, let's stop talking cats, and let's talk about this. So, if you were unfamiliar with this, I don't know where the heck you've been in the last couple decades. So, <laughs> this is Disney's original animated Beauty and the Beast that came out in 1991. So this is the film that I grew up. This is the film of Beauty and the Beast that I grew up on. So I'm going to kind of do a synopsis of the basics of this film as opposed to, say, the books. So in this film we have Belle. So she's called Belle rather than Beauty, which is what she's called in the English translations of, ori of the original tale. And she lives in a boring town. She reads all the time. She's very different. She's, you have Gaston, who's the best looking guy, at least according to him, in town. He's a hunter. Um, he's in love with Belle, but he's also really, really stupid. And she doesn't want anything to do with him. Belle's father, Maurice, is an inventor. And he's kind of crazy. They live on the outskirts of town, so they're kind of outcasted. Yet Gaston still wants to marry him. Her father has some sort of crazy invention. He's going to a fair in a different town. He gets lost. He gets to the Beast's castle. The um, be, be, the Beast's transformed servants. I see uh, the Campbell Barra. This pot's the um, teapot, Chip, her son, who's a cop, um, and Cogsworth, and Lemire, there's the name of the camera bear, uh, bring him in, feed him, the beast, find, and he leaves the next day, he picks a rose, the beast finds out, he gets pissed off. And basically, the, hor her, the horse um, has run off. So, Belle comes, she, the horse comes home, it's like, where's father? It's like, take me to him. They run through the woods. She ends up at the castle. It's like, I, I'll replace my father. He releases him and sends him off in some sort of magical carriage. And um, Belle is brought to a room where she's given everything. And he basically, she's woke up to dinner. He's all pissed off. The transformed staff feed him anyway. It's like he, he did tell her he can go anywhere except for the West Wing. It's forbidden. They start to form a relationship at one point. Well, no, at first she goes to the West Wing. She finds the um, Rose because you find the backstory that he was apparently nasty to a fairy and was transformed into a beast until he can find somebody to love him and he has until the last petal falls um, of this Rose. And then they learn to fall in love, but she misses her father. He gives her a mirror. Her father is ill. Um, and she has to go to him. And in the village, she comes. They're trying to, basically Gaston wants to lock, wants to force Belle to marry him. So they're going to lock up her father and send him to the insane asylum um, as a way to force Belle to marry him. And then she shows him a picture of the beast in the mirror, and he's kind of going crazy because Belle's left. And so they go to hunt down the beast because they're terrified of him because they're simple-minded people. The beast and Gaston get in a fight. Gaston falls because the castle's falling apart because the petals are falling and the, everything's going crazy. And um, the castle servants are fighting the townspeople. The beast is injured. She says, I love you. And he transforms back into a prince and everybody lives happily ever after. And that is the gist of the Disney version of this story. So, as you can tell, there's a big difference between what happens in the book and what happens in the story, no matter what version. Um, sisters are gone. Gaston is a completely Disney-created thing. The whole battle is completely created by Disney to give them a battle scene, because apparently they need a battle scene. Um, 
Bell's father, of course, is not being sent to an insane asylum. He's an inventor rather than a former wealthy merchant. You don't get the backstory. The beast is nasty to a fairy, and that's how he gets transformed, rather than in the original tale, he refuses to marry this much older fairy who has raised him, and um, he says no to that, and therefore she is transformed and also cuts off the rest of the story where Mother at first sticks her nose down at, at the merchant, merchant's daughter before he finds out, no, she's the daughter of a, she's half fairy, she's the daughter of a king and a queen, and yeah. Check out the book. It's complicated. Um, the story is not. So that's really what it is. Gaston is completely Disney created. Um, that whole conflict never happened. Basically, dad gets sick. She goes to see him. She has a certain amount of time. She doesn't get back. He's dying. She says, I will marry. They cut out the whole every time I will. Him asking her repeatedly to marry him. The whole do I she does have a lot of things. There's no personality to anything in the castle. It's just a magical castle. So there's no... And it doesn't explain what's going to happen after a certain period of time. The rose is completely made up. It's not part of the original tale at all, except for the fact that her father, she asked for a rose. That has nothing to do with the beast at all, except for he loves roses. So I don't know if there's... I don't remember if there's a ticking clock in the books. I don't remember there being a ticking clock in the book. Um, so there obviously must be because he's dying um, in all the stories. So, but again, I, it might be before his 21st birthday. I don't think it mentions or it even explains why the heck he's dying because he can't get Belle to marry him. Um, <laughs> again, so it, I do love this film. Please do. <laughs> this is one of my, this is literally one of my favorites. Uh, this is my daughter Serafina's favorite Disney film. Um, she loves Belle because her favorite color is yellow. So that is the gist of the story. So I'm going to jump into, um, let's see if I can jump quickly into the IMDb page. There we go, without actually closing. So in the IMDb page here, um, let me make sure this is still going. Yes. <laughs> um, the voices are Belle is played by Paige O'Hara the Beast is voiced by a man by the name of Robin Benson La Fou who is Gaston's henchman um, also known as The Fool that's what that translates to is voiced by Jesse Corti Maurice her father is voiced by Rex Evanhart Mrs. Potts is voiced by the legendary Angela Lansbury. Lemire is voiced by, again, another legend, which is Der uh, Jerry Olberak. The Chip is voiced by um, Bradley Pierce, who is, of course, a grown man. Um, Codsworth is voiced by David Ogden Sears. Gaston is voiced by a man by the name of Richard White. Uh, you do have Babette, who is the um, duster. And that's voiced by an actress by the name of Mary Kay Bergman, who I re recognize. Um, you have the stove, who's voiced by Brian Cummings. And is there really anybody else? So there's another voice for Babette, which is Kathleen Sosi. So those are the voices um but is there any other information this is one of the last one of those is first this film the big thing with beauty and the beast is this is the first i think it's the only animated that won um a best picture oscar and before they created an animated section so that's what this is known for um it's also one of the films along with uh, The Little Mermaid, which was created by a man by uh, Howard Ashman, who was kind of part of, um, he also helped with The Little Mermaid. He died of AIDS before um, Aladdin came out. But it was his idea 
to create these renaissance. He was the basically guy who got Disney, the renaissance started by basing them off of Broadway musicals. So they set, they're set up like a Broadway musical. So in similarity to, um, so I think it's The Little Mermaid that comes first. It's Little Mermaid um, and then Beauty and the Beast because I think Little Mermaid comes first where, and I, I can't remember where I watched this, um, it was on YouTube, where it starts out where the, just like in Broadway musicals, Belle and Ariel both have I am, what you call I am songs. It says, this is who I am. This is what I want. This is what I want. And then you have the villain song in this case, Gaston, where <laughs> again, you have what he wants in life. And those are, it kind of sets it up where you have it both and it sets up with the songs and the dancing. And this is what really helped save Disney when it came to, and it brought in the Disney Renaissance. So you have um, the Disney Renaissance films, which are The Little Mermaid, The Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, I believe Mulan is part of this, so Mulan came out later, and Pocahontas. Those were the, that's considered um, the Disney Princess Renaissance film, as opposed to the classics, which are, again are Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Snow White. Um, so that is kind of the history behind this. Again, this is one of my favorite favorites. Um, I love um, Angela Lansbury. She's, she is one of my favorite actresses. This is not the first time I've covered something with her in it. Um, and I just love the simplicity of this story. So it, it, it and no, there's a lot of, yes, we're going to get into the drama. One Stockholm Syndrome is not a thing. It's not a scientific thing. It doesn't exist. Um, Belle is not weak in this. She, the beast changes for her. She does not make him change. It's not one of those, oh, I can change him. She doesn't try to change him <laughs> at all. She doesn't. Um, she's just there. He likes her. Now, does his staff try? Yes, because otherwise they know he's going to remain a beast forever. And no, it's not explained in the film why on earth, what's going to happen to them. Um, and nor does it need to be. And the cat's coming back in the lap. Hi, Kenra. But again, she does not change him. It's her, at least not intentionally. Her presence makes him want to change. Her being there. And he, again, was not evil in the first place. He was never really abusive. He's an, he was an arrogant prince. Again, living in France, it's, why else would, else would he be, wouldn't he be arrogant? He's a rich prince who lives in medieval, medieval Europe. I mean, he's used to being in charge. That is what it is. He's not really nasty. Not really. So it's just he has to learn to be a little bit more gentler and get Belle to fall in love with him. So he has to figure out what he needs to do to get to know her and let her get to know him. It's the building of a relationship. And it doesn't actually specify how long it takes. Kendra, no, stepping on my computer or the keyboard. So, no. Um, and yes, I used to think that. I admit that I have since, by reviewing this and specifically watching an old Lindsay Ellis video, she's no longer on YouTube unless she's performing her book because uh, people on YouTube can be nasty. Uh, so, I'm, but again, I do love this film. I did change my mind. I admit I was, oh, this is weak princess. Uh, the Beast has a personality. So does Belle. There's as opposed to my opinions of, say, Cinderella, Snow White, and Sleeping Beauty, also known as Briar Rose or Aurora, who really do not have much of a personality. The princes have absolutely no personality in those books whatsoever. Um, but everybody in Beauty and the Beast have a personality and a character. I don't know if Gaston has a character arch because it's like, no, I'm an arrogant fool and now I'm dead. <laughs> so, Kenra, no. So, yeah. But the prince, Belle doesn't really have a character arc either. The Beast has a character arc. The Beast is the the main character of this story. The Beast is the what is what you consider the protagonist. He's 
he's the one who changes. He's the one who has the rise and fall character arc kind of thing. So, great film. One of my favorite Disney films. I have been enjoying studying this story. Um, I still have more to do on that. But we will get into my opinions of the live action in the next video on that. So, like and subscribe. Leave a positive comment if you have one. I will be finishing up Beauty and the Beast in here in September. Um, hopefully I will get this out tomorrow. This is the 12th. Um, so I will hopefully be getting this out tomorrow. So, and then I will be doing, getting the live action out, which again, I'll be filming shortly. It's actually going to have the disc in it. Um, because five-year-olds. Uh, so, but I will be doing the rest of the Beauty and the Beast stuff this month and moving on to space in October. We have Diwali, which is a Hindu festival coming in November. I've actually uh, filmed a lot of, most of those books already and did them months ago. And then we'll be doing Mysteries come December and then a lot of other stuff. So like and subscribe, leave a positive comment on if you have one. And thank you.